All right, we welcome you back to the Don Swindell Memorial Game Two or Game Three for the U9 Mohawks. Pretty simple formula: win and you're in. If they lose, then they could still get in. If Toronto loses their game, which they're currently playing, and that would depend on a tiebreaker. No shot clocks here. A tie will get the Mohawks in as well. Orangeville lost to Toronto 6-5. They beat West Durham by a goal as well. Should be a pretty good matchup here. Orangeville 2 and Ganawagi, the Northmen in the black, gray, and white. And Orangeville resets here. Pass to the near side, scooped up. And here's a drive. And Albany makes the save on the 25-foot shot. Back come the Mohawks pushing it in transition. Easton Deerhouse. And that pass sails over the top of Mator. Possession favoring the Northmen. Here's a long drive. And it goes into the back of the net. They score. A win for the Orangeville Northmen in this game gets them into the next round as well. The Mohawks took care of business against West Durham yesterday, 9-6. Picked up by Montour. And here comes Montour. This is... Well, here Nuni two axe picks it up for the Mohawks. Comes out, firing, save me. Bonhawagi needs either a win or a tie here to clinch a spot, and if they lose, they're going to need some help from West Durham. And the ball gets knocked away. Scoot back up. And it's dropped. There's a hit. Knocking down Tristan Thompson, scooped up by the Northmen. Feet out in front. Knocked down, scoop back up. Out in front, score! <laughs> Mohawks trailing now 2 nothing. Bad start for the Mohawks, but there's still plenty of time left. Look at Neil Thompson. Working his way back. Gets the shot. Save. Rebound. Mohawks pick it back up. He fires. Bouncer's not on. Look at Neil Thompson behind the goal. Crease. Ten minutes, forty seconds remaining. Here's a home run pass that is picked up. That's out. This is wide. Fucking by camera. I'm in an awkward position over here, trying my hardest to uh, adapt. Mohawks are on it. Onus Lazar, double teamed, got stripped. Back on the Northman. There's a shot, and Albany knocks it away with the right shoulder. U11 Mohawks are next against West Durham. Winner of that game finishes first in the pool. Tahoe Matora on the intercept by his lonesome. The 
Santoro. Still with the ball. Quadruple team. And he lost his balance. And Orangeville comes out of there. And Nigamu in Lahash with the stick check. Not a long at all here. Mohawks down by two. Trying to get on the board here with uh, 8.58 left to go in the period. Shaw comes in. Save made by the North Mentendi. Feed out. The flex. There's the Northman coming away with it. Hard hit. Ball stripped. Nigama with Lahash trying to track it down. And Orange goes on it. And look out, they get stopped. Good converge there. Austin Thompson is on it. Stays out of the crease. On the walking trail, 2-0 to Orange Hill number two here. And he's very sure for the game. Right to the Kalen Dybo, out of the pack, open. He got it! Kalen Dybo, Mohawks on the board, it's 2-1. to one. Mohawks win it. Oh, and there's a big hit. Thrown on Wayanuni Tuax. Northman scoop it up. On the pack, and that'll be a legal body check on Tuax. Orange Hill gets possession. Well, the Toronto Beaches and West Durham game will only be played at 12 noon. Mohawks got to dig out of a two-goal hole. Feet in front. And that's blocked by two acts. Another try, not on. Rebound behind the goal. Interference. Possession call. I want to dodge Thompson, number 10. Or I want to dodge McCord, sorry. Number 10. Out to their Hadaze, McCord. Back to, I want to dodge His pass deflected, and the Northman will corral it. Comes to the near side. Let's go. 
Orangeville's on it. They're getting hit thrown by the Mohawks. And look out, he's got a breakaway. Three, two. Well, you knew two acts has cut the lead back down to one. It's three to two with four minutes to go here in the first period. Out comes Orangeville. And it's knocked away. Good defense by the Mohawks. And it's played up the floor and caught by Clayton Thompson. Thompson out of the pack. Fancy by. Got it! Tie game! Three, three. Don't forget, we're not we're not score watching here because West Durham and Toronto only play at twelve. And that pass is dropped. Picked up by the Northmen out of the pack. Here's a drive, and that bounces over the top of the goal. Comes to the near side. In the corner. Pass down in front, deflected by Thompson. And Queen Thompson's on it. And he gets by. Oh, sorry, that's number nine, Hemlock. The one of Horos firing. And that changes directions wide of the goal. Comes to the opposite corner. And Agneo Thompson comes out of the pile with it. Has his pass deflected, picks it back up, throws it in front. Open look. Thompson has his second and the Mohawks vault back in front for the first time today <laughs> four three So Gunnawagi has taken the lead here. It's 4-3. And Kalen Dybo's on it. Dybo tried to throw it to the near side. The ball hops. Scooped up. Feet out in front. Picked up. They still can't get the shot away. And it's deflected to the other side. Dybo with the fake. Has a look. Shoots one not on. And that'll hop. And it's still loose. Picked up by the Northern behind their own goal. 50 seconds to play. Uh oh. There's a move. That center back come the Northmen. Thrown up to the near side, and that pass is a little high. Caroms, ooh. It's an no contact, they will. Tahoe Mator catches it. Latour turned away, and the netminder pounces on it, and the ball got out of the crease. He's on it though. Down to ten. Orangeville has to get a shot off to end this period. Down to four. Down to three. The Hail Mary will not be delivered in time. At the end of the first period, the Mohawks score three straight, and they have the lead, four, two, three. Second period underway, here comes two Ox. Oh, third away. Take it back up. He fires. He scores! Why 
Brandon Nooney, 2X, 5-3. And it is a four-goal avalanche for the Mohawks here. Four unanswered. I'm right here, baby. I miss you too. 5-3. And the Northmen gain possession off the draw. Here's a feed. Good look. Great save. Right, we're Dio Albany. And there's a high pass that is going to go over the head of one of the Mator number 10. Picked up at the tip of the crease. Ooh. There's a brush. There's a shot. It's blocked in front by that wall of Northmen. Fed up to the house area, and it's knocked away. Hey, brought to you by Gun Hogg, so the other end has community services. Two acts out in front, that deflects wide, and comes to the near side. William Nooney, two acts, scoops it up. Double team. And look at the Northmen come out of the dog fire with it. Two acts hot in pursuit, and it's turned away. Rebound, blocked in front. Well, you knew the two acts up the floor, and it's a breakaway for Mantor. Six three. I'm not doing anything, maybe. I'm just saying that there's a goal scored. Verdazi Mator have a hat trick in game one. And he makes it 6 3 for Mohawks. Aganillo. Picks it back up. And he will fire one over the top. On the near side. And that pass is deflected. Ogunio oh, Thompson has that one hop over him. That's Ogunio oh, Thompson right there. Clay Thompson had the pass hop over him. Ball squirts to the opposite side. Tahoe Mator in pursuit. And he comes out of the dog pile with it. Has it stripped. Trying to scoop it up. And the Northmen come away with it. There's a home run pass that is going to go away from Arganeo Thompson. And that's not on. Rebound picked back up by the Northmen. Feet out in front. That'll hop wide. Goes to the far corner. 11 minutes to go in the second period. Neil Thompson, near side. Got knocked down. Knocked down a second time. And the ball is now gathered by Tahoe Mator. Mator, long shot, stick save. Now picked up by the Northman. Or no, the Mohawks get it. Thompson. Oh, he's denied. Great save in tight. And there's Clayton with the steal. Or the deflection, anyway. Mohawks are on it. Neil Thompson gets by. Here he goes. He has it stripped. Pick back up. Fire save again. And it's fed up the floor. Intercepted. And an open look. Breakaway. Digamo in the hash. No. And Orangeo comes away with it. Look out, a four on one the other way. Jay, Mass 
Yes, save even. Ryan Gordillo, top, uh, Albany making the save. Nigamu in the hash. Sends it over. And the home run pass is deflected on route. Mohawks are on it. Austin Thompson takes it into the corner. Double. And he's slammed into the boards. No help. Hawks got to get somebody there for a small, a shorter outlet. Right hit. Penalty coming up, though. An illegal cross check. And uh, the Northman will go to work on a power play. Score here is 6 3. This game, of course, brought to you by Juan Hawaga Sagoti up again, Husky Media Services. Northman on a power play, eight minutes to go. Behind the net. And that is interference. Orangeville possession. Feet out in front is intercepted. Here's the Northman coming away with it. Spinorama, good hit. Two acts. And that shot the flex and caroms it to the near corner. Hawks are on it. Beat up the floor. And a foot race for it. It's going to roll on net, save made by the tender. And it's stolen! The tour! Oh! 7-3. By the way, if the Mohawks finish first, oh yeah, we got a problem here. Uh, so we don't know which what time they're going to play at because it says first place in Pool A plays second in Pool B at 4. And then it says first in Pool A will play second in Pool B at 5. They made a mistake on the schedule. We don't know which, what happens. We don't know who plays what, where at what time. It's either 4 or 5, but we're not sure which one. Mohawks have six out there. Too many. And Orangeville will get a power play here with the score 7-3. Don't forget, U11 Mohawks are next. They are playing for the Pool A Championship against West Durham. The Mohawks have five. They still have too many. Game brought to you by Gahnawage Sagopiat the Ganhas. Community services. Northman on the power play. 7-3 Ganhawagi under five minutes ago in this second period. And again, the tie break, as we got some pushing and shoving over there on the far side, but the tie breaking formula is not 
goal differential. It's a complicated CLA-based formula of goals for divided by goals for minus goals against. Don't ask. I don't make up these rules. Feet out in front. Two axis shot. No. So if the if the Mohawks win this game 20 to 3 and the other game ends up 1-0 for Toronto, the beaches might still come in first. 7-3 Mohawks still leading. That'll be a interference call. See it out. Oh! Orange will ball. Here's a shot. Shoulder save, Albany. Lost in the shuffle has been Rael Gordillo of Albany. He's had a very good game, especially in the second period. Interference. Push on the back, actually, there. And possession will go back to the Northmen. Get out in front, intercepted. Five on five. That pass is deflected, and the Mohawks corral it amazingly. Sent back and knocked down. The flex to the near side. Easton Deerhouse trying to corral it. And there's a hit thrown by Nigamo in Lahash using his size to his advantage. Oh, he went back in the crease. Feet out in front, deflected. And the Mohawks get it. One of those, Mantor, tripped up. Ball squirts behind it. Agnew Thompson is in the crease. And we've got an injury on the floor. We're coming right back. So a minute 44 left to go. The Mohawks on top of Orangeville number two by a count of seven to three here. A win clinches a spot in the next round, but a penalty coming up to Ganawage. High sticking the call and the Northmen will go to work on power play number three, all three of which have happened in the second period. West Durham and Toronto, by the way, are in action at 12 noon. So only after that 12 o'clock game will we know whether or not the Mohawks finish in first or second in the pool. Unless the Orangeville Northmen, who still have a minute left in the second period, can pull off the comeback. It's 7-3 Mohawks leading. Final minute of play in the second. Ball loves up in the air. Norsman with the steal. And one of the Mohawks rolled their ankle. Got the Wagi ball. Injury on the floor. We're coming back. Welcome back to Don Schwindel's memorial. Actually, you know what? We're going to take a pause here. Coach wants an explanation for uh, the missed too many men call at the end of the period. We'll see you. We're back here as we start this third period. The Mohawks trail, uh, leading Orangeville number two by a count of seven to three. Oyanuni, two acts will have possession. Throws one near side. Here's a chance. Score! Shorty. And the Mohawks capitalize on the opportunity they had by hanging on to possession shorthanded at the end of the period. But Adaze Mator gets the goal. He's got a hat-trick, by the way, in 
all three games. And it's 8-3. And the Mohawks have uh, themselves a healthy lead here. And here come the Mohawks. This is Wayanuni Tuax. And he's got the Hattie. Penalty is over. 9-3 Mohawks. And Ganawage can seriously start thinking about semi-final Saturday a little later on today. U11 Mohawks are definitely thinking semi-final Saturday, but not before they play their final round-robin game. That's coming up right after this against West Durham. A win puts them in first place. And I do believe that even a tie would get them in to first. West Durham, I do believe, has to win that game to get first place. Both teams are in, though, to the semifinals a little later on today. Scramble on the near side. The rugby scrum and screw sues right in front of you on your television sets, or your computer, or your phone, or your tablet. Back come the Northmen. Coming on out. Cut to the goal. That's... Stop. Rebound the flex out in front. And that'll be corralled by Don Hawagi. That's gonna get the Lazar up the floor. Over the top of Kalem Dybo back to the near side. And nobody wanted it. So Orangel says thank you very much. Look out. Oh, what a save by Shark. Got him in the mass. That's what you call using your head. Oh. Mohawk scoop it back up. Easton Deerhouse. Flings one up. Aganeo Thompson will pick up the Lucy. And he had it taken away by Orangel. Stolen by Clean Thompson. He will back it up. Spinorama firing, and that's intercepted on route by the Northmen. And that's headman up the floor where it deflects and goes into the Orangeville bench. So the Northmen will have possession here with 11 minutes to go. This game brought to you by Gano August. So the again has community services. Baby girl, can you please move a little bit that way? Set up the floor, and Thompson's on it for the Mohawks. Clayne Thompson out of the pack, comes to the goal, and he lost his footing. Actually, it was like a domino effect there. Everyone came flying down. Lazar, ooh, he free trains a Orangeville defender. Scooped up by the Mohawks. Outside shot, bouncer, save! A rebound. Fire! Save again! Tahoe Mator denied. Stolen. And that shot hit a wall. Picked up by the Northman at the house and it's sent up the floor. And this is Wahianuni Tuax who comes up with it. That two acts. That is a look. Mator. Garadazi Mator trying to scoop it up. Got it back up. Backhander. That's some great A creativity from number 17 in white. Two acts scoops it up. 
when Anuni fires. And that is stopped by the Orangeville tender, nine minutes to go. So, uh, update from U17, our, our Gunnawagi Mohawks are leading, our U17 team is up 10-2 to right now over West Durham, so it looks like they have officially clinched their spot in the semis as well. There's Adazi Mator, duking his way in. Feet out in front, and that'll corral to the far corner. Stolen, and that shot is not on. Going up the floor, that hits the ceiling. And that'll mean Ganhawagi possession. Head up to the far side, and that'll go into the Northman bench, Orange Hill ball. Sent to the net, and that shot won't go. Peace violation, Mohawks ball. Here with the uh, 7.20 left to go. In this game, so the U9 Mohawks are going to the semifinal. We still have to wait to see which position they finish in. Oh, and there's a freight train hit interference. The call, and the Mohawks will have possession as Kalen Daibo will scoop it up here. 10 3, Mohawks on top. And that shot sails wide. Kalen Daibo near side, he's got it. Daibo gets by one. Throws one towards the net. Up, and that shot's not on. Six minutes and ten seconds left. And there's a takeaway. And Caleb Daibo got knocked down. Ooh, that'll be a penalty. High sticking the call. Orangeville will have a power play. Under six to go, this game brought to you by Ganawagi Sagotia the Genhas Community Services. The U17 Mohawks are next here. Power play underway for the Northmen. The ball trickles back into Orangeville territory. 10 3 Mohawks on top. Ball got knocked out. That comes on, Jill. Jump shot, blocked. Rebound, Caroms. Long drive is deflected by Thompson and then bounced over the top of the goal. Here's a shot that's blocked. Follow up chance. Bouncer hits the post. He's in play. I mean, Neil Thompson. Three couple teams. And that hits a post. 
Thompson slow to get up. And then he got run into, and that'll be a possession call. Mohawks ball. Ten seconds to go in the penalty. Thompson hopefully all right. Tahoe Mator. Shot that's blocked. Fed up to the blue line area where the blue line would be in hockey, stolen by Orangeville. Here's a long drive. Couple of players collide. Orangeville scoops it back up. Under three minutes to go. And the stick and the player went flying for the Mohawks. They Ball gets bobbled and picked back up. Shot comes in, not on. And there's a save by Shark. Here to the pool Shark, this man, and that's a lack Shark. Back on the Mohawks. And the ball squirts out of Dane Fleischer's stick. Corralled, and here's a long shot by Tahoe Mator, not on. Rebound scooped up by Orange Hill. Right up the floor. Mator with the steal. And that's right on, save me. 100 seconds left here in this game. The Gunawagi Mohawks are officially going into the semifinals. Wayanuni, two acts. Two axe looks and feathers one up the floor. <laughs> I think she's just switching it. Yeah. That comes Orange Hill. Corraling her way back. Final minute of play in this game. Bouncing off of a check. Oh! And he lost the ball, scooped up by the Mohawks. Mator driving. And he gets shut down. 30 seconds left to go. Oh, that'll be interference. Mohawks ball. Fifteen seconds to go. Two X up the floor. Scoop by Orangeville. Intercepted by Wayanuni. Two X. He's got four seconds left. He'll take one last shot. And the Mohawks win it. Nine three. The Kentucky. Sorry. Over Orangeville. And they are going to the semifinals. We'll see you for their semifinals.